Hey, Taliata Champs, now, I was lucky enough to get my hands on the MSI WF75 workstation, an affordable workstation, this thing, with RTX Quadro graphics. And interestingly, I got asked, is a Quadro worth it? So I'll answer that first, and then I'll tell you why. If the laptop I want has the option of a Quadro, 100% I'm getting a Quadro. And depending on what you do, I think it's very much worth like especially 3D SolidWorks or something like that, or you're doing mission critical stuff, it is worth changing your choice to another laptop with Quadro over one that doesn't have it. So that's my short answer. Now I want to tell you why. Now, as I said, I got this MSI WF75 in, and it was an engineering sample, but um, I am going to show you a benchmark that will just blow you away. And yes, take that with a pinch of salt because it wasn't a final product. But this WF75, I mean, it is a great price point. For a serious workstation. In actual fact, if we ever look at MSI's other offerings, they have a WS75 mobile workstation, okay? This thing not only offers you Quadro 3000, 4000, 5000, yes, Quadro 5000 with 16 gigabytes of memory, Wolf, also the option of Xeon and ECC RAM. So that's like serious workstation stuff. If you've got mission critical, if you don't want crashes and stuff like that, when reliability is important to you, this is what you want. And also MSI, the first people I know of that are actually going to have mini LED display. And we're talking 4K HDR. We're talking 1000 nits of peak brightness, you know, P3 color gamut. And if they can work out the calibration on that, I really want to see one of these laptops with this mini LED display. And I know you guys want to see it too. So hopefully I can make that happen. But on the Quadro, just have a look at this. Look at this benchmark. Now, it's not always going to be like this. In fact, say for like Premiere Pro, GeForce cards are generally faster. But if your application is optimized for Quadro drivers and have a look at this, that is not a typo. That is not an error. That is like literally, what is it, eight, nine times faster with the MSI WF75 with the Quadro 3000? Yes, it is that much faster than the 2070 Max-Q. And by the way, the Quadro 3000 is based on a 2060. That's a 2070 Super there, which is more powerful than a 2060. And it's the latest. It's super. So this is like a no-brainer, right? If you need Quadro drivers, if your application like SolidWorks, we're talking industry standard here for making parts and making products, etc. A Quadro is like eight, nine times faster. It's just a no-brainer. You have to get the Quadro. Now, it's just not about performance. As I said before, say Premiere Pro, GeForce cards will probably be slightly faster. Actually, they are slightly faster, but they're not as reliable. So I've been using the XPS 17, and if you haven't noticed, I've been messing around with ProRes, HDR, etc., and Premiere Pro, and I've been getting crashes, and one of them, the error code, was something to do with the GPU. You can guarantee if you have Quadro drivers, it's not going to be the GPU driver or the Quadro that's going to let you down. Now, Premiere might still crash. <laughs> Premiere is Premiere, right? But it's not going to be the Quadro that lets you down. And, you know, if you're a big enterprise and you've got workstations and you can't afford for, you know, things to mess up, things to crash, things not to work. And if you ever listen to number 23 podcast of Puget Systems, they tell you the same things with Quadros. Less failures and mission critical Quadro is the way to go. Check out these MSI products, these workstations. Hopefully I'll get some more workstations in. But this one here, the WF, is pretty good for its price. And that WS, whoa, that looks good too, doesn't it? So anyway, hope that answered your question. Is Quadro's worth it? If I had the option, I'll get the Quadro, 100%. So catch you in the next one. Tally ho.